In this video, we'll balance the equation NO2. This is nitrogen dioxide plus water. Note that the products, we have HNO2 plus HNO3. This is nitrous acid plus nitric acid. This is pretty unstable. And often it'll break down into nitrogen monoxide and more of this HNO3. So you'll see the equation written like this. NO2 plus H2O yields NO plus HNO3. But in this video, we're going to balance this equation. Let's count the atoms up. One nitrogen, two oxygens. And this is where people have problems. Don't forget, we have one oxygen right here in the water. Three of those, two hydrogen atoms. Products, we have one nitrogen right here. And don't forget, we have one right here. That gives us two total nitrogen atoms. For oxygen, we have two plus three. So we have five oxygen atoms, hydrogen one here and one here. So one plus one, that equals two. And again, people have problems because we have hydrogens here and here, nitrogens here and here, and then oxygens here and here. You have to count them all up correctly. I like to leave oxygens till last. Let's balance the nitrogens. If we put a two in front of the nitrogen dioxide, one times two, that'll balance the nitrogen atoms. Let's update the oxygens. So we have two times two, that's four, plus we have just the one here, that gives us five, and we're actually done. This equation's balanced. So again, make sure you count up all of the atoms correctly, and then when you're balancing, it's often helpful to leave the oxygen atoms until last. This is Dr. B balancing the equation NO2 plus H2O yields HNO2 plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.